guys welcome to the 2am pipe on the patio tonight I'm smoking my Savinelli 320 Roma with some black Irish twist mm. it's uh, been a crazy weather day uh, it was 94 degrees today just burning hot and then uh, In about 4 35 o'clock it just the skies opened up and it poured rain out of nowhere and uh rained for about an hour an hour and a half flooded this whole back patio uh, then it drained off it drained real quick but it rained so quick that it flooded rain so hard and so quick that it flooded it and then it drained off you know it drained real quick and now it's it's about 84 degrees and it's just nice out but I don't hear all the frogs that I normally hear out here it's really weird usually at this time of night I'm hearing all kinds of frogs, and bugs, and stuff, birds. I'm not seeing any of the lightning bugs out here in the back right now yet. So it's 8.35, so it's still bright out. Sun's setting over behind the mountains right now. Out in the west over here, and I'm looking about northwest right behind me. It's perfect for smoking a pipe right now. A little bit muggy. Still a little bit muggy in the air. But not too bad. It's not too uncomfortable out here. The backyard grass needs a good mowing in a bad way. <laughs> I've let it go far too long back here. I would cut it real short, real short, the last time I cut it, so I didn't have to mow it again for a while, but I've let it go too long. I've cut the front and the sides a couple times since I've done the back, and if I need to get out of here and do the back, it's out of control. It's a jungle back here. I'm smoking black Irish twist. Gorgeous night out here. I got a couple of lanterns going. In case the sun sets while I'm out here. I'll be prepared. Of course, the, the girls have lights on in the house, so that's making it a little bit brighter out here too. So. Sadie cooked some dinner tonight. 
she made a, her mother-in-law's recipe called mouth-watering chicken, which was unbelievably good. I'm not a big chicken eater. This stuff was fantastic. It was so good she went to the store. She had, McKinley went to the store and got more chicken so she could make more. They're in there making more right now. And, uh, She only made enough for one piece for everybody. And Channing, I think, wanted more. And Sadie wanted more. And McKinley wanted more. And so they went to the store and got more so they could make more. And they're going to have leftovers for lunches tomorrow. And Man, it was good. I'm Like I said, I'm not a big chicken guy. Unless it's uh, Bojangles fried chicken. I love that stuff. But just normal chicken, I'm not a big fan of. But man, this stuff was delicious. This was really good. Mm. Sadie's been on a, a cooking kick lately. She made biscuits and gravy on, I think it was Sunday morning, she made biscuits and gravy. That was her father-in-law's recipe. And it was incredible. It was, I love biscuits and gravy. This was fantastic. And I think they doubled the sausage in the recipe because it was just loaded with sausage in it, which I loved. But man, that was good. Oh gosh, that was good. So Sadie's never been much of a cook. And uh, I mean, her idea of cooking is scrambled eggs and uh, hash out of a can and macaroni and cheese. And uh, so she's been getting recipes from her mother-in-law. Things her mother-in-law cooks that she likes and that Channing likes. And she's cook, been cooking those. And uh, <coughs> they're good. right now it's, it's kind of nice seeing Sadie and McKinley out in the kitchen together cooking and uh, never seen that before <laughs> I don't think McKinley's actually cooking but she's out there talking with Sadie while Sadie's cooking <laughs> Well, Kinley's actually a pretty good cook. She can make some. She makes some pretty good things. She does some Indian uh, chicken stuff. Some uh, I forget what it's called, but it's uh, like a curry chicken stuff. It's just wonderful. She's made some pretty good. She makes some butter noodles that are incredible. Super easy. I could eat those every day. So we were talking about this chicken that Sadie made would be really good on those butter noodles. T together, the two of them together would be just a fantastic meal. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> Sadie doesn't like my barbecue. She doesn't like when I barbecue. And, uh, she doesn't like meat. Red meat. She'll eat chicken as long as I don't barbecue it. She doesn't like anything barbecued. And Channing loves barbecue, so he gets all excited when I barbecue stuff. Sadie just, <laughs> she hates anything barbecued. 
when I lived in California, I barbecued just about every night because you could, you know, and uh, so I was always barbecuing. I'd come home from work and barbecue and barbecue two or three times during a day on a weekend. <laughs> I'd be out there at four in the morning setting up my barbecue and I'd, I'd have two, three barbecues going at a time, one for one for lunch and one for dinner. I love barbecuing. Smoked meatloaf. Oh, I love smoked meatloaf. God, I love that. Anyway, things are going good here. Yesterday was Denny and my 31st wedding anniversary. Can't believe she stuck with me for 31 years. That woman's a saint. She is just a saint. Mm. I can't believe it's been 31 years, man. I really can't. It does not seem that long. What time has just flown by? Best thing I ever did was marrying her. Gave me two beautiful, incredible daughters. Just wonderful girls that just amazing, amazing young ladies, if I do say so myself. really never given us any trouble at all. And, uh, we've been very blessed and lucky. Mm. I gotta figure out a new way to hang these lights out here on the side of the house. Uh, these little plastic clips I have are not holding up to the weather. They're, uh, You're just not doing the job. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get some of those uh, those clips they use for like repelling clips. You know, like people use them for keys and stuff that and hook those onto the, the uh, so I've got them just hooked onto the uh, uh, the edge of my
gutters. So I think if I hook those on there and then I can just put the wires, hook those wires onto that. And I'll clip on, hook the wires through them. They should be just perfect for that. I'll just go get a bag of them. A bag of 20 or so should do it. Should hook on there real good. As long as I'm open enough to clip on. Put the wire through it first and then hook it on there should work just fine <clears throat> keep them on wind won't blow them off we should stay just fine on there down we had the last last good storm we had some of these blew down and little plastic I'm using little plastic clips that you use for like Christmas lights they just aren't sturdy enough to stay on there so and I just uh, need to replace them with something better I think those clips will work really well. I don't want to screw anything into them. I think that'll be a good option. I can remove them easily. Be semi-permanent. pull the wires through them they'll you know they'll be able to pull through and tighten and stuff so it should work good and this tobacco is so good it was nice to see a man in his pipe back on the, the YTPC doing videos again it's nice to see Paul it's been a while He's kind of, kind of feel like a, he's been like my protege almost. He's smoking a 320 with black Irish twist. It's good to see him, you know, so I always feel like he's my, I've always considered him a, protege of mine it's good to see him back and starting to hear the cicadas again that's good it's the first I've heard them there's the frogs I love those frogs. Peter Piper True Light had the best sounding frogs in his yard. He had the coolest sounding frogs I've ever heard. <laughs> he did a video one time just for me because I always commented on his frogs. So he had, when the frogs came out, he did this. You know, this is a video for, for Onion. Just all it was was just the frogs making noise. <laughs> Just trying to let you smell the goodness that is going on in here. I was telling them about your chicken. Um, Grandma Manion would not be happy with me because I used garlic 
Nice. Nice. Said he used garlic in her green beans and my, my grandma would be my mom disgusted. would she would be freaking out. She put no no spice or anything in anything she cooked ever, and uh, she wouldn't put pepper in anything. She wouldn't put hardly any salt in anything. She made spaghetti with tomato juice. Yeah. He hated spice. Any spice at all. Nothing. She'd cook something and my dad would get the salt and pepper and just shake it all over his plate. And when he was done, we'd pick up the plate and there'd just be this ring of salt and pepper all around his plate. Uh, she hated nug. Uh, and if you put onions or garlic in something, she would just have a fit. She just couldn't stand it. We used to go to the taco shop. And McKinley would order the tacos. And she goes, can we get like a talk, two tacos with just meat and lettuce and nothing else. Make it as white as you could possibly make it. And the guys would just start cracking up. <laughs> okay, do you want the tacos soft? Do you want us to put them in a, ta a soft taco shell? She'd so go, yeah, that'd be great. Just as white as you could make it. They'd <laughs> just be cracking up. <laughs> and the rest of us were getting it with, you know, everything, guacamole, salsa. And then, dude, taco with just the meat and lettuce and nothing else. Just as white as you can make it. <laughs> and these were real taco shops. These were, you know, real taco shops in California. They were just laughing. No flavor. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> they just laughed. For my grandma. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and they knew us. They, from then on, they knew who we were. Want some white tacos? <laughs> Need any white tacos tonight? <laughs> Anyway, that's all I got. That's all I got for tonight. I'm gonna just sit back, finish this pipe up, then go have some of those green beans Sadie's making because those sound good. I love green beans. She's making a lot of them. Catch y'all later. Have a good one. God bless.